APN also uh, need to be doing the second part of the initiative. Yes, I think that's exactly how we'll proceed. So we have a public presentation. We'll have then a period of time where the audience can ask questions. And then we will um, ask everyone to leave and we will go ahead and have the, the committee meeting. Okay. Well, with that, I'm going to turn the microphone and the, the uh, presentation over to um, Hojo. So I'm going to go ahead and stop my video and mute my microphone. And Hojo, I need to figure out how do I turn the control over to you. Oh, um, yeah, I, I, I think I really don't need. Okay, uh, do you want to go ahead and... Yes, I can start? just let me try sharing and it should actually work. So that it's easy if there are people talking, you can... That's, 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 that's perfect. Can, can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. Uh, thank you, Professor Tim. Uh, I would like to start by uh, um, saying thanks to all of you who joined this Zoom uh, today. I could see my director from Togo, Dr. I mean, uh, Dr. Bamba. Uh, I'm, I really appreciate having you. I have my colleagues in Togo. I have my professors from New Mexico. I have my faculties here at K-State and my major professor came from his house to join me in the conference room and uh, I feel very warm to present my dissertation to you. Uh, my uh, dissertation includes um, four essays on agricultural productivity and the impact of food price change on welfare in Africa. And um, as you have all noticed, I worked under the supervision of Professor Tim Dalton and uh, my PhD committee includes four other professors, uh, Professor Jason Bechtold, Professor Ben Schwab, Professor Lily Chen, and uh, my external chair, Professor Ganga Itarashi. Uh, I will uh, move forward and uh, get you through my dissertation in six steps. Um, I will start with an introduction to motivate my overall research, and then um, from there I will take them essay by essay, starting from the first one, on public spending effects on agricultural productivity. And next, I will move to the drivers of cereal cropland allocation. And uh, the third essay on demand analysis and welfare effect of price change will follow. And I will close that part of my essays with the theoretical argument on demand-led breeding. Uh, I will give you a general insight of how my dissertation is contributing to uh, agricultural economics and economic development literature by concluding with an insight on that. Um, with this being said, um, let me start with the motivation and uh, state that the population is growing in Africa and the projections say that by 2050, Africa's population is going to be about two billion. Uh, as an agricultural economics, uh, what it means to me is that actually there is going to be an increased demand for food and specifically for Africa, when you say increased demand of food, you mean the increased demand of starchy food coming from cereals. But in the meantime, what we see on the continent is that the domestic food productivity is low, uh, which means that from the supply side, uh, the space at which production is growing doesn't keep pace with the pace at which uh, the demand is growing. And it also means that um, up in the upcoming years, uh, the continent is going to need more food import if nothing is done to structurally shift the productivity. Uh, therefore, productivity becomes a key element here in uh, actually uh, structurally changing the agricultural food production in, in Africa. But the question that comes in mind is how can we now actually uh, improve agricultural productivity in Africa? And, and we can look at it from a uh, different perspective. But what I'm doing in my dissertation here is to look at it first from the macroeconomics perspective and uh, uh, check how effectively uh, public uh, policy makers are allocating funds to agriculture. And then next I'm moving to the microeconomics level to understand how cropland are located across different staples in a household level. 
Next, I'm doing a market analysis uh, to find the demand elasticities and use them to conduct a welfare analysis so that I can tell how uh, welfare is impacted for both producers and consumers. And uh, last and importantly, to try their productivity, we need to make sure that farmers are actually adopting new technologies. And I'm making an argument in my last essay on demand driving uh, the, the, the breeding system in, in Africa. So this actually set the foundation of, of my dissertation. Uh, I hope we are all on board. I will now move forward and start with the first essay. Uh, my first essay, as I said, focuses on how public spending trigger agricultural productivity growth in, in Africa. And, and before moving any further, I would like to share with you a few keywords. Uh, there are three very important keywords to keep in mind and follow me on this essay. Uh, the first one is total factor productivity. It's actually the, uh, the ratio between the total agricultural output and total agricultural input, with output including both uh, crop production and animal production, and the inputs including land, uh, capital, and uh, labor values. And then I'm using the total factor productivity growth, which is actually uh, capturing the way the total factor productivity is growing. The next important variable is the agricultural budget share, which is the percentage of the national budget, uh, annual budget that's allocated to the agricultural sector. And this includes administration funds, building uh, rural roads, building irrigation uh, schemes, and uh, purchasing uh, agricultural machines, and uh, also funding research out of the national funds. And the last important variable I am including is the research share of agricultural GDP, which is the ratio of the agricultural GDP which is going to research. And in this one, you could find funds coming from the international partners as well. So with this being said, uh, let me share with you my research uh, questions. Uh, my first research question is actually to assess the impact of public spending on agricultural productivity growth. And after assessing the impacts, I'm comparing two expenditure streams with agricultural budget share on one hand and then research share of agricultural uh, GDP on the other hand. And then my third research question is to assess the Maputo commitment uh, where African governments have decided to allocate at least 10% of their budget to the agricultural sector. Those are my three research questions. And uh, to get you on board, make you comfortable, I would like to let you see the preview of my results. I found that when governments increase the agricultural budget share by 1%, the total factor productivity uh, increased by about 10%, but it takes 15 years to happen. On the other hand, when the share of the research in the agricultural GDP increases by 1%, we could expect a total factor productivity growth of 7% after seven years. And last, 